Good morning, Hamcation 2023. Uh, a little late to the party this morning, Sunday morning, but before we pull out, I can't, you know I have to come here and say hi to Bob. You can't, now what about Bob, right? What about you, Bob? you gotta say, what's up with the hair, Bob? Well, you know, I live on a tropical island. And the sun <laughs> said I needed to start looking like Jack Sparrow, so, so I'm working on it. You know, maybe in a year or two, it'll be, uh, you know, <laughs> the beads and the whole bit so yeah well i see something here always uh i guess got something new again i see r finder i see a satellite tracker i see an aero antenna yep. tell I, I love satellites and i've done a lot with it tell me about it bob so this is uh, we've revived the uh, portable rotation uh dual axis rot rotator it was discontinued about three years ago and uh, we talked them into making it again we made some modifications to it uh, to include Bluetooth, for instance, and also a little bit of modification to the controller board to make it more uh, continuous duty. So, um, uh, basically, we were putting the list of FM transponder 2 meter 440 repeaters into uh, our finder. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, yeah, we're actually going to change the name. It's going to be called the Intergalactic Repeater Directory when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for real? Yeah. <laughs> So, so, what, so wait a second now, I, people are going to ask, and I, I'm brand new to this, I've been out in touch a little bit, what made you want to make a satellite tracker? I mean, you specialize in the R-Finder phones and tablets, what, made, what brought this about? Well, I met Willie um, back in 2019, um, and uh, we started talking about it, and then COVID kind of put a damper on everything. Yeah. And um, we, uh, we reopened it um, uh, about four months ago with him, and... Uh, this is what we came up with. This this is the whole, besides the aero antenna, you're talking about this, tell me what you, yeah, what so is involved in your kit. Okay, so um, this is the uh, elevation unit, this is the azimuth unit, and uh, it's an easy setup. It literally takes 10 minutes to set the whole thing up. What's this? That's a good question. This is a magnetometer accelerometer. Okay. So you can actually put it into a mode where it finds north. Gotcha. So it'll actually like automatically, um, uh, 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 it, it, so, so it's not like the one I built from the plans online. I don't have to tell it where North is and then calibrate it. This thing will automatically do that. Automatically calibrate. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yep. So, so your your kit would come with this, 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 and this. And the and the controller. And the need. controller. Okay. Not the tripod. Of course, not the antenna. No, not right. The I'm just because people are going to ask. Like, is this the whole thing or what does it come Everything with? Everything you know? from here up to the ends of the. Okay. The end of the booms. And that's called just your satellite tracker, or what is that called for the R Finder product? We don't have a name yet. Okay. Azel. Okay. The R Finder Azel. There you go. Okay. And then the controller. Tell me about this. So it's um, it's it's Bluetooth enabled. So uh, you know this thing always had a serial interface through the USB port, but we um, added a uh, a USB interface to it, so we can just talk to it straight from the radio. So the radio will control, it's controlling it right now. Right? This, this right here, your R finder. Yep, that's can, right. can you use, if they don't have an R finder, can you use it without your R finder? Yeah, that's a good question. We're actually going to put this into the regular R finder app on the on the uh, Google Play Store as well as okay. the uh, iPhone app. So, so, so do they have to have the R finder app product in order to use this? Yeah, you'll have to have the R finder app. Okay, so whether they download the app on a non R finder device or a native R finder like this. Is, Correct. What, what are you up to now? The B, yeah. This is still the B1? That's a B1. B1, that's the one I used to have, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and um, okay, so what is the, do you have any kind of idea for the price point on this? Not yet. Not yet. To it's be not going to be inexpensive because they're made in the United States. These are all like, you know, like CNC, CNC'd in the United States. And right. Uh, so these are all American made, you're saying? It's American made. These are fiberglass? These are for, yeah, fiberglass. Okay. Yep. Uh, excellent. So, so basically, guys, you could do satellites. Uh, his app is going to have all the FM, 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 FM and um, linear. Well, so it'll I'm have the linear in there also, but for the radio itself, the radio will. Oh, that's right, because that that's FM only, right? Right, right. right. The radio on an FM satellite will swing the sat the antenna. Set the frequency, adjust the Doppler during the pass automatically. Right. So, uh, you know, so it'll be like very, very easy to operate the FM satellite. Yeah. You can use the R an, an R Finder um, app <coughs> on something to control the device, and then use another radio like a 9700 or, or whatever you're gonna end. Right. Up right. I say. Okay. So yeah, there's there's plenty of options for, for that. The linear. So there's plenty of options for so, that. So so the, it's always controlled by the R Finder suite. But right. you could use the R Finder suite to control it to add another radio if desired, if you want to do sideband or CW, Absolutely. digital, stuff like that. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. So, yeah. Well, 
You know what, Bob? A lot of excitement about this the last two days. People have been going nuts over it. Well, you know why? Because a lot of people, I mean, there's a lot of satellite trackers that are coming out still, and a lot of people are charging a lot of money for that kind of stuff. Uh, and everybody's in the market now for satellites. And, you know, uh, I built my own uh, plans from Elwood Downey and bought some stuff, cost me like 400 something dollars. There's some options, you can print them on, on, on a 3D printer. Yeah, yeah. This is heavy duty. This is heavy duty. This is, this is for someone that doesn't want to build their own and they could find, they could buy something like this and they may already have an R finder or they want a solution to automatic, automatically capture and um, follow with Doppler Shift the satellites for FM with Correct. your R finder device. Or, right, or use the R finder device just to control it. So your tablet then would be an optimal thing oh, yeah, for that. Yeah, that's a great thing to use. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Well, Bob, here's Bob, guys. We Hi, always everybody. go to see Bob. And uh, Bob is the R finder creator here. And I uh, wanted to see him on Sunday before he got busy. So thanks very much, Bob. Thank you very much. I'm going to head out of here, let my voice cool down. I'm talking all day yesterday. Yeah, when you're done, take the rest of the day. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to watch Super Bowl. 73s, everybody. <laughs> Ham Radio Concepts. Brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, hamradioprep.com.